Let's look at another application for distribution coefficients and see how powerful the alpha values are for keeping track of very complicated acid-base equilibria. Let's take a look at the solubility of a common mineral it has phosphate and calcium in it. And when it dissolves, we know that it goes to form three calcium ions and two phosphate trianions. But we know that phosphate is the member of a weak acid base family, so that can be protonated and form HPO4 dianion. That can be further protonated to form other members of the family. And depending upon the pH, we might go all the way to the phosphoric acid species. But this is an equilibrium. And there are K values that go along with that set of equilibria. Now we know that the KSP equation, there's a solubility constant that dictates that the activities, actually, but we'll pretend that the activity coefficients are one, the activities of the calcium cubed times the phosphate squared have to be a constant, but we don't know those directly. We're interested in the solubility, so let's set x equal to the solubility that is the number of moles of calcium in phosphate that dissolve per liter. So let's try to write the calcium concentration in terms of X. For every mole of formula units of calcium phosphate to dissolve, we get three calcium ions. So calcium ions are going to be three times X. Phosphate, we know that if we have a certain concentration of all the different species of phosphate, we'll call it CT for the total scorecard on phosphate family, then there's a certain fraction that's in this form, and we know that fraction is our alpha value. So the concentration of phosphate is alpha times the total of phosphate species in solution. Well, how many of those are in solution? Every time a formula unit of calcium phosphate dissolves, we get two moles of phosphate. It does get redistributed in different forms depending upon the pH, but there are two moles for every formula unit that dissolve. So CT is equal to 2x. So if we multiply that by alpha, we should have the concentration of phosphate in terms of the solubility X. So now we can go back to our KSP equation and introduce these terms for calcium. So 3X for calcium, and we cube that times phosphate squared. So that's 2 alpha phosphate X, that's squared. We expand this, we get 27x cubed times 4 alpha phosphate squared times x squared, or 108 alpha squared times x to the fifth. So if we are interested in solving for the solubility, is just the fifth root of KSP over 108 times alpha squared.
Now let's see how efficiently we can calculate the solubility in this particular case. We've looked up the Ka values for the phosphoric acid family, and here they are. Let's imagine that we're interested in a pH of 5. That's then a hydrogen ion concentration of 1.0 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. Now we're going to need to calculate alpha in the phosphate form, and we know that it will have this denominator, H plus cubed plus Ka1 times H plus squared plus Ka1, Ka2, H plus, plus the product of all the Ks. And the numerator is going to be the last term in the denominator because this is the last of the family members. So it's Ka1, Ka2, Ka3. We can very efficiently calculate the terms in the denominator. So H plus cubed is just 1.0 times 10 to the minus 5 cubed or 1 times 10 to the minus 15. Ka1 times h plus squared which is equal to 7.11 times 10 to the minus 13. Ka1 1 Ka2 times H plus, which is 4.49 times 10 to the minus 15. And finally, the product of all the Ks which is 2 times 10 to the minus 22nd. So if we sum all these terms, we get the denominator. So I get for a denominator 7.16, the next digits of 7, times 10 to the minus 13. So alpha for the triphosphate, trianion species is this term divided by our denominator. Or 2.8 times 10 to the minus 10th. Solubility is a function of a KSP, and KSP I find in a table. It is 2.07 times 10 to the minus 33, it's a real rock. So we divide that by. 108 times the alpha squared, 2.80 times 10 to the minus 10 squared. Take that ratio and extract the fifth root. That numerically gives us a value of 7.54 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. For something that was very low solubility at pH 5, we have modest solubility for this substance.